Hi everybody, I'm Laurie, VP of Developer Relations at Llama Index. And today I'm going to be talking about Retrieval Augmented Generation, or RAG, specifically multimodal RAG. That is, RAG that includes not just text, but also uh, images or audio. I'll briefly reintroduce you to Llama Index and some of our features that get your apps to production, then dive into the details of how to make a multimodal app using Llama Index. So let's get started. Let's start with a quick recap of the magic of RAG. The core of retrieval augmented generation is the fact that retrieval works in the first place. When LLMs learn information, what they're really doing is converting it into numbers, specifically vectors. We call the total set of available vectors the vector space. So when you convert your data into vectors, we say that you're embedding it into the vector space, which is why we call these things embeddings for short. An amazing property of vector embeddings is that if you take a question and you convert that into a vector as well, it will end up nearby in vector space to the data that contains the answer. This isn't keyword matching, it's encoding the meaning of the question. And you can use quite simple math to find text with similar meanings, which is a pretty magical feature. So that's how RAG works. First, you embed all of your data using an LLM model. Then you embed your query using the same LLM model and you perform some relatively simple math that tells you which chunks are closest in meaning to your question. Those are the most significant pieces of context. So you send those and your question to an LLM, and most of the time, that's enough to get a right answer. Multimodality has recently exploded into the LLM world. This gives LLMs the ability to understand images and audio, not just the text on which they were originally based. But amazingly, RAG can work exactly the same way. Just as you can embed text, you can embed images and audio. Once your text and images are vectors, the same math works to retrieve them. You can even embed a text query to get back images or embed an image to get similar images. We're gonna show you how to do both of those things today. But first, let's do a quick refresher on Llama Index itself. A retrieval augmented generation application can be said to have six stages. First, you have to load your data from wherever it sits. Second, you have to index it, cut it into chunks and feed them into an embedding model. Third, you have to store all of that stuff in a vector store. Then, when you're ready to ask a question, step four is you give the query to the vector store and it retrieves the most relevant context. You feed that context and your query as a prompt to an LLM, which synthesizes your answer. We sometimes call, just, call stages four through six just querying, and there is a seventh stage called evaluation, which we'll be covering in a follow-up video to this one. A multimodal RAG application is much the same, but it starts with two parallel paths, because while you can embed images, you can't use the exact same embedding model. So we load text and images in parallel, and we embed them differently. If we are embedding text, we would use something like ADA002. If we are embedding images, we'd use something like CLIP. We store them separately, but often side by side in the same database management system. At the retrieval stage, we fetch results from both stores and provide them as context to the LLM to respond to the query. Managing all of these stages and all, and all of the storing and indexing is a lot of work, which brings us to Llama Index. Llama Index is a framework that takes care of all of those stages I just mentioned in the six lines of code that I'm showing here. On line two, it loads everything from a local directory. On line three, it indexes it and then stores it in memory. On line four, the query engine is instantiated. And on line five, it takes care of retrieval, the prompting, and the synthesis. And line six is the result. Of course, this is a toy example. In production, you'd want to store stuff in a vector store, not in memory, and you'd want to get the data from somewhere else. That brings us to Llama Hub, a registry of hundreds of connectors that can get data from anywhere, from a database to your Google Drive or your Slack or Notion. On Llama Hub, we also have Llama Packs, which are pre-built code snippets that you can pull into your application and turn big chunks of code, of fiddly code, into one-liners, like a complex query strategy or even an entire application core, like a chatbot. We also have a one-step solution to get all of this stuff into production. It's a command line tool called Create Llama. Everything we do is called Llama something, sorry. Create Llama is based on the idea of Create React App. It puts together a full stack Llama index application for you, ready to host uh, on a deployment target like Vercel or Render. 
So now let's build an app with multimodal retrieval. You can follow along in the linked notebook. I'm going to skip the parts of the notebook where we just install dependencies and set up our API key and fetch our test data. Let's get to the first important part where we load in some images. The images we're giving it, giving it to it this time are this set of images and cars and a bunch of text about those cars. It's a mixture of Toyotas, Volkswagens, and Teslas. Loading images in Llama index is exactly the same as loading text. In fact, it uses exactly the same loader, simple directory reader. For a production use case, you could use a loader from Llama Hub, like our AWS S3 loader. All we're doing here is passing the simple directory reader a list of exactly three images to load. I happen to know that these images are one Tesla, one Toyota, and one Volkswagen. But the LLM doesn't know that. So let's fire up the LLM and ask it a question about these images. So we instantiate our LLM. We're using OpenAI's GPT-4V, but we support several others in Llama Index, including Lava, Fuyu, MiniGPT, and CogVLM, all via Replicate. We now do the simplest thing possible. We just ask GPT to describe what it's looking at, which it does a bang up job at, distinguishing between three cars that I definitely could not tell apart in real life. Now let's do something slightly less simple and index text and images and then retrieve them. As I mentioned earlier, we need both a text store and an image store to make a multimodal index. So let's make both of those here and then pass them to the storage context so that we can use them later. Now, once again, we load all of the data from local disk. This works whether it's text or images or both. Uh, and we instantiate our multimodal index, which requires the storage context that we created in the last step. Now we instantiate a retriever. We give it separate parameters for how many things to retrieve from the text and image indexes. So it finds three text nodes about Toyotas and three images of Toyotas, which is exactly what we asked it to do. In the notebook, I then ask it for Teslas instead to prove that it's not just fetching Toyotas by default, and it correctly does that as well. Finally, let's query this multimodal index we've just created. We instantiate a query engine, and we pass it the same parameters that we would have passed the retriever about how many things to fetch, and we ask it to compare the Toyotas. So first, the retriever finds the Toyotas, and then the LLM gets the pictures of Toyotas as context and answers the question about them. This is cool. We've done all six stages of a RAG application here. We loaded, we indexed, we stored, we retrieved, we prompted, and we synthesized. Now let's go one step further. And instead of finding images with text, let's find an image with another image. This one's a new notebook that you can also follow along in. As usual, we'll skip the basic setup steps. The first complicated thing we do is fire up a Wikipedia client, which downloads a bunch of images and text from several unrelated Wikipedia pages, such as Vincent van Gogh, San Francisco, and Batman. We get a nice diverse set of images and text. We create a multimodal index exactly the same way we did in the last notebook. An image store, a text store, load all the documents into a multimodal index, give it to the storage context. Uh, and now we instantiate the retriever just the same way we did before. But now we call a new method that we haven't seen before, image to image retrieve. As input, we'll pass it a single image. The image we're using to search is a picture of Starry Night by Van Gogh that we've downloaded separately and isn't in the set that we're searching. What we get back is four Van Gogh paintings. The embeddings of all the Van Gogh paintings are sufficiently semantically similar that the retriever finds them next to each other in vector space, which I think is really neat. So that's image to image retrieval. Now let's do querying using an image's input. This is a little bit more advanced than basic text querying. We have to create a custom prompt and then instantiate a query engine with that prompt, as well as our usual things like a multimodal LLM to use, and parameters about how many text chunks and images to fetch. <coughs> now we call another new method, image query, which takes our query and an image file as input. Again, the input image we're using is Starry Night. And so the results are an analysis of Van Gogh paintings. The retrieval step has found paintings similar to Starry Night, just like it did when we were doing retrieval. And it has passed the resulting pictures as context to the LLM, which has synthesized a response 
about post-impressionism. Again, this is all six stages of a RAG application. We loaded a set of random images and text from Wikipedia. We indexed them against embedding models. We stored the results in text and image vector stores. We retrieved images matching our queries. We prompted the LLM what to do and with the images and our query, uh, and it synthesized a response. So today we've covered why the retrieval in retrieval augmentation works, how it works in a multimodal case, how Llama Index helps you build multimodal applications, and several examples of multimodal use cases using Llama Index to get them done. I hope this helps you out on your learning journey in AI. If you want to dive deeper, docs.llamaindex.ai is the place to go. And I hope to see you again soon. Thanks for your time.